Hey guys, how's it going? Kels AG here. Today I'm bringing you some Attack on Titan gameplay, but I'm not going to be focusing on uh, the gameplay itself and just trying to beat the game. I'm going to be informing you guys on what each character does. So the first character I have here is Mikasa. Um, Mikasa has a pretty cool special ability. She can deal very high damage with it, and that is a downward slice, you could say, where she gets both blades, then she just slices straight down. Now, if, if there is nothing in the way of her slice, she can go from the highest point in the map all the way to the bottom in one solid motion. But, if there's a building, she will stop. There, see? 341. That was the motion. Now I will try and get really high and show you. Okay, here, perfect camera angle. That's the sort of move she does. I'll repeat it one more time for you guys, just so you can see it. And there, you know, it's, it's a pretty cool move, not going to lie. So, moving on. Next character we have is Levi, or Captain Levi as he is known in the anime. Um, if you've watched uh, my previous videos, you know his special attack, but if you're brand new to the series, um, Levi has I, what I think is uh, the best uh, special ability other than Aaron's, but I don't think he should really count as a character. That's just an insta win. Um, right, so Levi does a spinning. Uh, is it horizontal? I, I think it's horizontal, yeah. There's pretty much a spinning attack where. He can deal massive damage, but then again, he can also deal barely no damage at all. Um, uh, Levi has a very similar move to someone called Petra, who does a vertical spin, which is pretty much the exact same. Because, you know, hers is vertical. Now, Levi's special ability is very difficult to get used to. And as you can see there, it can do really low damage and it can just completely stop your momentum of play. Now, I like it because if you're good with it and if you can like do decent shots, um, say if there was a Titan there, you can just fly straight past him, activate the special ability mid-air and then as you're going past, you deal hundreds of damage. But uh, if you're not able to do that, it can just completely stop um, everything you're doing. So now you're in a really awkward situation with a Titan where you need to get behind him or you're gonna get grabbed or smashed or you can't even use the special ability and you're just gonna need to take him out normally. So I'll try and get one more kill and then I'll show you guys what the animation just looks like without any Titan in the way. Oh that was kind of it I guess. So that's also another annoying thing. It can go in directions you really don't want it to go in. That's one reason why it's very difficult to use. There we go, 258. That was not too bad. So I'll get pretty high up and then I'll try and activate it. So that was the spinny motion. One more time. It's a pretty cool motion. It's really nice animation. It's done really well, and I honestly quite like it. So, next, we are moving on to Armin. Now, Armin, um, when I was watching the anime at first, I thought he was a girl, um, simply because of the hair. But Armin is actually a guy, and at the end of the anime, he's actually kind of badass. Um, uh, I can't really think of my favourite bit with Armin, but I think I think he's underrated in this. So all Armin can do in this is distract Titans, but he's able to make them laugh, and he temporarily immobilises them so they just stood there laughing for a moment. See, so he stood there laughing, and then I can get up behind and take him out. So you know, this can be incredibly helpful for multiplayer reasons uh, because you can distract say aberrant, I don't actually know if it works on aberrants but if it does work on aberrants then you can distract aberrants while someone else goes in and takes uh, the kill. So it's, Armin is a 
generally good character to play if you're online. Single player, I wouldn't exactly recommend it. Uh, but you know if you're playing with a group and if you all are really good at different roles so say if someone is good at distracting and someone is good at just straight up titan slaying then i think this would be a huge help to your team so next character we have marco ah uh, poor marco marco is by far the worst character to play as a single player there is absolutely no point really um I mean, all he does is get Titan's attention. He doesn't stop them, you know, nothing like that. And the cooldown rate isn't bad, I guess. I mean, I guess it's not bad. But it's, but it's still, he doesn't really do much at all. He just has normal attacks, you know, normal gas consumption, you know, normal um, sword usage, you could say. So uh, the swords don't ha have the same durability as everyone else's, sorry. But all he does is just distract them. Now, like I said with Armin, this might be good for multiplayer. But for single player, it really isn't worth it in the slightest. I would never recommend anyone using Marco in single player. Because, quite frankly, it is pretty much just playing the game. Uh, just only using normal attacks. Just... He is purely attack based or I guess if you want to get a certain titan's attention in single player then he would be useful but you know if you were running with a team online very helpful you know, very very helpful because you can just distract all of the titans in one area but other than that I really wouldn't exactly recommend him but that's my personal view you might like him now then next character is Jean um Jean has a pretty cool special ability now I'm gonna need to get grabbed for this. But firstly he has um gas consumption. Like so he doesn't uh what's the word? Sorry, he preserves gas. Uh that's the word. So he doesn't use as much gas as everyone else. But um uh but he has a really cool ability which can actually be very, very helpful. So I could really do with getting grabbed. Here we go. What? Wow. So I couldn't even do it. Wow, that's that's kind of disappointing. And I think I was hitting the wrong button. Pretty much Gene can escape a Titan's grip. I think you need to hit left mouse button and I was hitting right mouse button. I'm not too sure. But then the second Titan did just come out out of nowhere and just destroy everything. Is it? Yep, left mouse click. So pretty much if you just ba uh, bash left mouse click, you can escape. Not sure if it works twice. Let's try and find out. So let's just hit him in the leg. Does it work twice? No, I think it only works once. Yep, it only works once. Well, if you're on a streak, that can be really helpful with the gas um, preservation thing is really cool I think because then you can pretty much just go a whole game on one gas can even in multiplayer multiplayer even um you know if you hit right click he does a you know normal attack which is slightly disappointing I mean I guess it would have been nice for him to have uh, another special attack but I guess uh, the escaping attack and grip does really make up for it now the next character we have is Petra uh, as I was saying earlier, now I'm leaving Eren for last. As I was saying earlier, Petra has the same sort of attack as Levi. Um, it's just this time it's vertical. So there you go, that was the spinning attack. I'll do it one more time. That was the view from the back. So Petra's attack can deal huge amounts of damage, like absolutely huge amounts. It's kind of crazy. But like uh, Levi's it's slightly difficult to control so if you get up in the back of a uh, Titan like that you're you've pretty much got a guaranteed kill if you want to use your special but uh, like here this would be really good for me to um to blind the Titan I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna go behind the back or go around the back but I still couldn't even get the kill so like Levi's it does have a it does have a downside is that um, it can just completely stop the momentum of play 
uh, if you're online it can just completely slow you down can slow your group down and possibly even cause you or two or three members of the group to die so uh, I would recommend practicing single player first before you play Petra online but um, definite, definitely a good character to play I mean it's better than Marco um, but you need to get used to Levi and Petra definitely I mean you can't play it first time and just be amazing at uh, either character it requires a lot of practice and a lot of retries so I'm gonna try and get another kill for you guys with special ability then I'm gonna move on to possibly my favorite character simply because of how stupid the special ability is oh no Uh, completely missed and I died okay I'm gonna leave it so second to last we have Sasha now in the anime she's known as potato girl and if you play this you will understand why um, she gets a temporary speed buff and the animation for the speed buff is amazing best animation ever 20 13 I think this was released 2014 2015 however long this game is still like just up and running best animation ever it is all of the best like all of the even it doesn't anymore from this animation it is the best around and nothing is ever going to take it down I just died I'm going to try and take out the first titan and then I'll get a close up uh, camera shot of um, the animation for you guys so what Sasha does is um, she eats a potato or what looks to be a potato and that was a nice kill and then she goes crazy and gets a ridiculous speed buff I believe C changes camera so there you eat something and then crazy speed buff I'm not sure if it applies for while you're mid-air but the speed buff is certainly noticeable so I'll try and get it again I'll just quickly hop away and then om nom nom and just look at the difference it's as if she's running at times two speed now other than that Sasha doesn't really do much at all but I think the speed buff can save your life definitely a lot really helpful just really good to play with and a lot of fun if you just want to goof around or just run around titans I'm not too sure if it would be good online but it might be it might be good for distracting titans you know you never know I'm gonna try and get final kit uh, will i do it i don't think i'm gonna do it don't think i'm gonna do it uh, i'm not doing it yeah i did it yee boy yee 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 so final character now you could say that winning with Evan single player is a legit win and you can say that it's kind of cheating now why would I say it's kind of cheating well because like in the anime Evan can turn into titan form and just go around and smash and kill everything so it's kind of overpowered as hell and it definitely needs a nerf but the charge rate is incredibly slow so while I wait for this to charge, um, I guess I'm just going to fly around. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to talk about. Um, but fine. What would I like to see in future updates? Uh, new characters, really. I think a lot of AOT players would say the same. Just new characters, maybe a new map or two. You know, that would be really interesting. A new map, other than Forest, uh, single player game wise. You know, no decent single player game wise or AI, so not uh, Titan AI, but like new, um, say, uh, oh, what are they called? Uh, Survey Corps, that's it, new Survey Corps AI, or just like trainer AI, you know, just uh, people that will help the resistance, you could say, will just help humanity win. Because I think, you know, it's enough to play with a group of friends online. But then, you know, what if you don't have a bunch of friends that play Attack on Titan? Like, for example, me. 
Uh, no one I know really pays it. And when we do pay it, we only have two, maybe three people max paying it. And we're not even that good. Which is disappointing, to say the least. So, a new, like, just AI to help you win would be very, very nice. Uh, I think uh, it's only one man coding, which would not be fun having to code all of this. So I'm not exactly sure if there is even going to ever be AI. But I think if there was AI, it would be very cool and he could do a lot with it. Now, another new thing that would be really cool uh, would be like customizable characters. So you don't have to play as default characters. So say you can make a save game or you can make an account on a website or something. Or even just on this, you would log in and then you could be able to save your own custom character where you could uh, get different traits. So like every kill you got XP and then um, with the more XP you got, like the more times you leveled. Now that sort of thing. And then when you level up, uh, then say your uh, damage stat goes up, or your speed or agility, you know, something like that. Or even you get skill points, and then say each skill tree leads, you know, into like one of the character's special abilities. I think that would be really cool. So enough of me rambling. Uh, Titan Ever. So, firstly, the body model is amazing, but. Very loud. It is very loud in game. I'm not gonna lie. So you have the standard three punches, and then there's a kick for smaller titans. So you can just straight up kick smaller titans, which is really good. And crawling abrams. Just be gone, freaking punk. So let's quickly look at the body model. Looks very similar to the Titan Eren in the anime. It's very well done just in general really really nice uh, the animations on it are really nice the model is really good it's just everything about it is just feel spot on just with the anime so guys um, I'm gonna wrap this up not too sure how long this has been but I hope you've enjoyed it rate comment subscribe tell me uh, in the comments you know what sort of videos I should do if I should just have pure gameplay or if I should be delivering like my thoughts on the anime you know my thoughts on the game what i think should be brought into the game you know that sort of thing because this is going to be ongoing pretty much until i get bored of it but um yeah please rate comment subscribe i hope you enjoyed uh, this video and i hope that this has helped you out i hope you've uh, like agreed or had parts of the video where you've agreed with my opinions and i hope you guys have a really nice day Bye. Full size.